Hello and welcome to a special series of videos for our Car Dealer Power Awards. I'm James Bagger, I'm the founder of Car Dealer Magazine, and today I'm chatting to the winner of our online advertiser for used cars. It is Auto Trader. Now, joining me from the company is their sales and service director, Darren Moon. Darren, massive congratulations. Uh, I know you guys have been working incredibly hard during the lockdown to keep everybody updated and helping keep those used car sales flowing. It's certainly been noticed by our readers. How does it feel to win this award? Um, I think because you, the last thing you just said, then it means so much because it's voted by, by your readers, our customers. Um, and really online advertising is, is the core of our business and to be recognized for it is absolutely amazing. Truly fantastic. Um, we've, um, I wrote a uh, piece for the website um, a couple of, couple of weeks ago about the, uh, about the old uh, auto trader magazines and we had some fantastic stories from traders who, who, who've looked back at that and the, but also who celebrate this huge change that you guys have made in those last, in those last few years. What is it that, that marks Auto Trader out as so special? How have you managed to stay at the top of your game? Um, I think it's more because of our audience rather than us and what we do. We try to just balance that consumer and those retailers and put the two together to be a transparent marketplace. We're fortunate that, as you just mentioned, we used to have a number of magazines and they would be picked up every Thursday and Friday morning, 7.30 at the news agents, and people would be absolutely ringing up and, and trying to get the magazine the first they could. It's no real different now. We're just now online with our audience, and we've got a phenomenal audience that follow us. Um, and particularly during lockdown, um, what we really saw during that period is we saw a drop initially like everybody did. I think it's well recorded. We, we saw a drop of about 40%. But what we saw going through that is pent-up demand. And we kept talking to the retailers about that pent-up demand with the hope that that would come through. And thankfully, it, it seems to have done. Yeah, we certainly have seen that pent-up demand, haven't we? And the, I mean, a lot of people didn't believe it was going to happen. So uh, the, the, the fact it has has pleased, that, pleased a lot of dealers. What are you seeing in the used car market at the moment? I mean, at the time we're speaking now, we're getting towards the end of September. New cars are obviously very much at the forefront of dealers' minds. But what are you hearing in the used car market? So the used car market is still incredibly strong. Um, supplies now started to come through. Margins are holding up really well. We're seeing valuations where light for light prices are up about 6% year on year as an overall. That varies obviously by make and model derivative. But generally, we're seeing a very buoyant market that still has got that pent up demand coming through, be it people who didn't buy during the lockdown period. But what we are seeing is an amount of people come to the market for the first time with car ownership because they've got this fear still of public transport. And through our research, we had about 15% of the people that held a driving license that were looking to purchase a car. And what we're definitely seeing is that come through. And when I talk to some of the CEOs and some of the retailers out there, they definitely talk about people coming to car ownership for the first time, not having a part exchange to trade, who are now buying cars, which is brilliant news. What do you think uh, is going to happen towards the end of this year and, and into next year with the used car market? Do you think this, this demand can continue? Um, that's a million dollar question that I think everyone's asking at the moment. Every piece of data that we're seeing, there's no indication that it's going to slow down yet. So in August, I, think was, I saw the stat the other day from our marketing department, which is phenomenal. Something like 348,000 hours of research was done per day on Auto Trader in August by consumers, which is, is a crazy number. And I think where that comes through, we're, we're hearing and seeing strong used car sales at the moment. A lot of that will bring part exchanges into the marketplace. We know that some of the PCPs that were extended during the lockdown period we're extended for three or six months, which means they'll start flooding through the market. So we're still very optimistic that the market will be strong going into um, November, December. What the new year hold, I guess there's still a lot of factors there with Brexit and everything else that you'll be as aware of that I am. But at this stage, everything we're looking at is positive. 
Now, this category is one of our most competitive in, in, in the Car Dealer Power Awards. Um, it's, it's a very, very competitive market that you, that you guys operate in. What do you think it is that you think marks out Autotrader uh, uh, as the best when it comes to this online advertising? Um, I think people in online advertising look for audience and, and look to get response and sell cars. So I think our audience is, is a massive sort of factor with that. I think the other thing that we've tried to do during this period as well is this is a great industry that we all work in. And like you have and done a great job through this with your sort of updates and reports, we've just tried to support the industry as much as we can. And during that period, yes, we did some financial support for the industry, but actually I think it's a bit more than that. I think it's been about the data, the weekly webinars and the updates that we've given just to share that whatever data and, and research we can find to try to help the industry to say, you know, initially don't panic, we're seeing some pent up demands, don't reduce your prices, you know, there's people still in the market, hold your valuations, there's no need to write down lots of profit here. And as we've seen it trading out, it's, 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 it's past our expectations, I think. Yeah, Darren, I, I think that's definitely rung true. I mean, the information that you guys have managed to put out during the lockdown uh, and since then has helped us hugely. And I know it's helped our readers. We had some fantastic feedback from, from the respondents in the survey who really have highlighted just that. So congratulations to you and, and, and all your team on, on a fantastic win. You must be very pleased. Oh, absolutely delighted, I say. Particularly where this year has been so upside down and nobody really knows what we're going to deliver. We, as I've said, we, we know it's a resilient industry, but to come out of it as we have, I think, is, is credit to both everyone in Austria, but everyone who works in this industry as well. Darren, thank you ever so much for joining me and con congratulations once again. Um, so if you want to uh, find out who else has won our Car Dealer Power Awards, you can click on to cardealermagazine.co.uk and click on the Power tab at the top of the page. Thanks ever so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.